All right, J. Cole applying pressure, the off-season documentary. Let's get into this. What made you say off-season? I had a uh, mixtape called 21 Savage narrating this time. Okay. A warm-up. At that time, I was trying to get a deal. I was. I felt like I was this close to getting a deal with somebody just because my music was good and I, I had like a little bit of connection to the industry. That just hit me right now, the warm-up, the off-season, that's fire. The warm-up was the basketball court, too, cup, but he had the hoodie on. Nah, I don't know if it was basketball court, but I remember he had a hoodie on. He had a ball in his hand, I think, and he had the hoodie on looking to the left. The warm-up was my favorite shit. I remember when everybody was talking about um, Friday Night Lights, I liked more the warm-up. But I also, I had just graduated college. I was broke, nigga, I was, like, struggling to pay my rent. I ain't had no job. Like, as if that was good enough to get me to where I needed to go. Yeah. And I had a realization. One time, nigga, I'm in a party. I know mad people like that. Fire music. I know so many. I'm drunk and I'm high, so I had to leave the party and go to the backyard. Yard, just come find me. And they're like, yo, we want to holler at you right quick. Bro, it turned into an intervention. These niggas was like, hey, bro, what you doing? Mind you, one part of me is like, nigga, y'all, I'll be with y'all, nigga. <laughs> I feel that. Yo, if this is what I'm observing too much, it's my guy, Cole. I haven't seen this yet. I'm actually really interested in It's like, the fuck are you talking about? But when they was talking, bro, I swear to God, I sobered up quickly. It was almost like I was on a stage. Nigga, literally, after that, I thought about players like putting in work, shooting a thousand shots a day, and your dumb ass over there thinking you doing something mimicking Iverson. Yeah. So it was like, yo, do you really want to look back? Iverson. He showed his age on that one. Young bulls would never understand that. We all want to be AI as kids. We all want to be AI. If you was a Sixers fan or any other fan in the NBA, everyone wanted to be AI. The reason you didn't make it in music because you ain't put in the work. So I was like, fuck it. That was the where the warm-up came from. Every day, nigga, I woke up, wrote verses, made beats. So all that to say, the off-season was like the same concept. Like, right. one more time before I leave. Lights, please. Lights, please. Turn off the lights. That was my shit. Oh, my God. Like, before I feel like I'm, like, like fulfilled in this game, let me try to reach new heights from a skill level standpoint. Remember I told you about the seven-minute drill? Mm -hmm. Dreamville. Nah, Cole different, bro. Cole so respected. He still got the roots. You get me? Cole still got the roots. He's still with the people. He's still, you know, he's still connected with himself. He never let that money take over. What we can see, I don't know him personally, so I can't talk like I'm personally friends with the guy. But what we able to see as fans, he embodies the word humble. What I noticed was with that feeling of comfort, I'm like, damn, this is the moment that a lot of your favorite rappers hit a crossroad where they did what the fuck they set out to do, and then the fruits of their labor started working against them. That same energy and that same like passion they put into the craft was gone and it was replaced by like comfort. I watched Tyson Fury on Joe Rogan talk about that shit when he when he beat the Russian dude for the title. Like his whole life he thought he was like, yo, that was my goal, my life goal. I feel like my my shit was completed and that's when he went crazy and started doing drugs and wilding out. And luxury. And you see I said that Russian dude, I wasn't even gonna try to pronounce that name. I like this one. You like them too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The cold sneakers on the air. I forgot Kobe got to deal with Puma. That was my favorite one. Gangster, bro. You right in the back right here? That's a lot of shit. Shoot a video to shoot a doc to even just come downstairs and do this. Oh, he just shot a music video then came downstairs and did a doc. That's crazy. Okay. So I'm guessing it's a, it's a video for something on the album that we're we going to see real soon. We'll probably see the video tomorrow, I'm guessing. Yeah, I swear to God, bro. I swear to... Yo, that's the level of, like, comfort slash laziness that I've, like, I've, to music and a craft and a sport that literally you can't get comfortable in. Yo, Cole's different. Like, yo, the love for Cole is, is different because the way that he respect hip-hop and how he respect the craft and the people before him, a lot of people ain't like that, you get me? And he really put the work in, like he just said, yo, I guess he really did love ball. I know he's playing for the African League now. That that just show you the determination, man. What's up, brother? Good morning. I knew you was up. I had to make a real decision. Are you okay with getting comfortable, chilling? Was that Timberland's voice who answered the phone? That might have been Tim. 
Timbo. And waiting around on inspiration. If this is as high as you ever got, not career success wise, but from a skill level, like have you wrote your best song? Did you leave no stone unturned creatively? And when I thought about that feeling, I was like, nah, I'm not cool with that. And Cole has done a lot of shit, bro. A lot of shit, and he's still not, he's not complacent. He's still not happy yet, bro. That's the thing with creators, you always fighting with yourself. Chapter two, Father Time. Tell me about it. Tell me she was pregnant. He owned this crib? Like, yo, what, hold on. Is this his studio? Like, what is this? Is this oh, is this his parents' crib? Like, his old crib? First this thing might be, mind, like, yo, this is North Carolina? Right, oh, nah, yeah. oh, nah, this is Muhammad's crib. Queens, New York City. All right, cool, I needed this answer. Look, bro, it's, it's a whirlwind in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that shit like Mount Everest, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't paying no rent, nigga. <laughs> something for rent, nigga. We are at the legendary Muhammad house. And this is where Cole stayed in. Cole used to, to New York to go to St. John's. This house right here has been a lifeline because even when times were difficult, he struggled with certain things. Like the owner treated him actually like a friend, almost like a son in a sense. So he worked with him. Wait, this old. Oh, this old footage right here, yeah, 2016. Not even that old either. 2016 wasn't even that old. So wait, hold on. In 2016, Cole went back to Muhammad's crib. This is 2016. Forest Hill Drive. Forest Hill Drive. I was trying to think. I was like, is that Born Center or Forest Hill Drive? I've been out. Like, I'm at the peak. And I'm like, coming back here. When I woke up, I had to write a verse before I can go to the city and go to the studio. And then after the studio, I have to drive all the way back to Queens. Well, this one, he was riding the bike around New York. I've seen <laughs> remember them videos when Cole was on a bicycle. This is around that time. Wake up here, write again. Record. I remember Pharrell, one of the first times I had worked with him, he was like telling me how he had his life on a schedule. He came to the studio for certain hours. He was like, I only come to the studio from this time to this time, and I don't take shit home with me. I was probably 24, 25 when he said that, and I remember feeling like, damn, that's weird, because I'd be in the studio all fucking day. Like, if I stayed in the studio anything less than 12 hours before I had kids, it was a failure of a day. You need, you need, you got me. You need a balance in your life, bro. You need to build that balance in your life. Schedule, where your family knows that this is your time in the studio, and this is the time when I'm at home. I think I need to do some shit like that. No bullshit. I think that's why. I mean, I need to do some schedule throughout my life. We already know my job schedule, but I think I need to do a creative schedule as well. That's fine. Where don't fucking bother me from this and this time, because everybody know I'm working on my craft. On. Um, family mode. But I ain't got no family yet, so that's kind of why my schedule's all day. It's something that I needed to do because I'm not gonna shortcut on the family side. So... Yeah, you right. I don't really need a schedule. I ain't got no family. We, we turn it up all day. My family is right upstairs. Chapter 3, The Climb Back. for a while, he has to come to your mind and want to come out and they want to be written down, you second guess them because you haven't been in them. No, as a creator, bro, this shit's actually super dope. If I'm not as entertaining as I usually am, wilding out, jumping around, I'm soaking all this in like a sponge right now. This Momentum of trusting and, and seeing When cold talk, you sit so down and listen. Country, you're like, oh, no, no, that's trash. Oh, no, I said some shit like that before. No, that's corny. I don't know. Instead of just see, that's why I couldn't be a rapper, bro. I overthought everything. I was just always in my head. Sometimes you gotta just trust the process. Just relax, enjoy the craft, and then trust the process. So like, I had to just start showing up. Yo, I really can't wait though. I'm gonna find his. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like on World Star and all over Twitter and everything. But I can't wait to see my guy Cole in the league. When I really, really fell in love with rap, it was a matter of like sport. Coming down to the off season, it was the same mentality. It's like, damn. The off season. This is the time to get better. Nah, that's. Yo, Cole, Cole's different, bro. So I have to continuously come up with ways to reignite. Write one verse. Do a drill. Make a beat. Oh, I right, I forgot 21 of him had that big ass song. A lot. 
Yeah, I forgot about that. Applying pressure, chapter four. But yeah, I guess they still cool. I don't know if they were cool before a lot and all that. It's almost like you treated those features as an album, as like a project. Facts, yeah. Is that how you thought of it? Yeah, because it was a mind state. When you put yourself in uncomfortable moments, you find out a lot about yourself. And usually you find out that you're capable of rising. You think the area that you grew up in drove you to want to have the skill set that you got? Hell yeah. yeah sure. Do you really want to look back and be like you didn't work with nobody? Yeah, I agree with that. The era that he grew in, it implies to the skill set definitely because he grew up listening to Jay-Z, Nas, Biggie, Pop, Kiss, Locks, X. Yeah, nah, it was different. Ja Rule, bro, it was different when we grew up with 50. Possibility of not doing this shit seems real, and I'm at peace with that. Don't have a regret. 2016 footage again. I'm just keeping up because it's here. There's songs on here in this whole fall off era that I've been sitting on for years. Even like a middle child, that was for the fall off. Middle child was fire. Fire. And I love the video, it's a middle child. But then I'm like, do you really want to wait to drop this fucking song? So I'm like, yo, fuck it. We just put out Middle Child like as a single. That shit went crazy. So you know I never came up here when you came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to write. I got more tinkering I need to do. But the vision, I finally got. The fall of, oh, I was say, wait, hold on. Ain't, the, ain't that shit coming out tonight? No, the off season's coming out tonight. I got this shit sculpted and I can see this shit. Like, for a long time, I just knew what I wanted to do, but I just couldn't see it. It was just like, this is the most ambitious shit I've ever done. It's a patience and a trust. It's a tight rope to walk, but I'm walking that shit. Nah, that's fire. Whoa, 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 you know I gotta drop a comment. How we dropping a like? You know I definitely gotta drop a comment on that. We'll keep it sweet and simple. This is so inspirational to all creators. No bullshit. If y'all see me not talking to y'all as much, not turned up, not reacting crazy, I was observing this. I was soaking it all in. He was speaking truth, bro, and it's so crazy seeing yourself grow, but sometimes you got to come back as a creator to what, what got you out there. Is why in 2016 you went back to Muhammad's crib, went back to what, you get me, what, what made Cole go in that bag of writing a verse every single day, waking up, and you get me? Sometimes as a creator, you need that shit. You need it, you need it, you need it. That's why I be traveling so much. That's why I be trying to get away so much. Sometimes my head just be flooded. Like, just got to separate myself from everybody, restore my energy, and then come back. I don't want to talk to y'all crazy because I'm looking at the time. It's 10 o'clock. Cold's about to drop in two hours. I'm trying to go get this milkshake. I'm trying to burn. And I'm trying to get back to do a listening party with y'all. I'm trying to react to the whole album. So, guys, comment below. Let me know if... Did you guys like this documentary as much as me? It was only 12 minutes, super fire, very inspirational. I love Cole. And I always tell everybody, people used to look at me crazy when Friday Night Lights hit. People used to look at me crazy back in the day when Friday Night Lights dropped, and I was like, nah, the warm-up was my favorite Cole. They were like, what? Are you crazy? Friday Night Lights was fire. I'm not trying to say nothing bad against it. Like, the shit was crazy. It was fire. But, but, I think the warm-up was a lot. Not a lot better, but I like the warm-up more. But guys, comment below. Are you excited as I am for this album tonight? Did you hear the LA Leakers freestyle? If you didn't, check out my reaction video on this channel. That freestyle was crazy. Cole, I liked both beats. Sipping on full foes and all that, but 93 till infinity. Cole sounded like that was like he was in the studio. Like his voice is just, it was perfect on it. It was perfect on it. It's something we needed. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this tonight. Subscribe, like, and you know we drop multiple videos on this channel, so we lit. All right, guys, we out of here. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Let me know you amp for this album tonight. You turn, you gonna be here with me to react. I hope I don't get too baked and fall asleep, but it drops in two hours. And like I love to say, to the next one, we out of here.